Hello, this is Bill McAfee. I'm the president of Empire Title Company in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm here to give you an update on our local multiple listing system. For those of you that watched the video last month, you saw me as Princess Leia. And by the way, you, those of you who know who you are, the letters you wrote were sick. Don't do that again. All right, here we go. In the MLS, we have some actually good news to look at. I'm going to give you some cautions here in the very end. Uh, average and medium sales price are both going up nicely, 6% on median. It's all a factor of demand and supply right now on the low end. We simply can't keep pace with the demand. Inventory levels, this is astonishing, is down about 26%. Um, if we look at the residential units sold, they're up about 7%. we are rounding to 8% this year. A very nice gain. Uh, the number of listings is down about 20%. We're going to talk about to some lows that we haven't seen in 10 years. And then the interest rates are at historic lows. If you haven't turned on the TV, you haven't seen this. The interest rates are down below three and a half on 30-year fix. Sometimes you're down on the, on the twos on, on 15 money. So, you know, buyers out there, beware of that. It's a great time because of interest rates. Moving on, just an interesting fact in our county, um, in, in our MLS, about 29% of the sales are going our VA or military loans. We got about 17% cash. We 1% other, about 36% are conventional. That's an interesting fact because people are bringing money to the table on those. And about 17% FHA. Inventory levels. This is a calculation. You guys have watched my videos are bored of me telling you what this is, so I'm not going to do it this time. Basically, anywhere below six months is phenomenal. Notice 3.68 on 180 to 2, 3.76. What this is telling me for the demand that's out there, we don't have enough supply. Now, sellers, don't get all cocky on me and puff up like a peacock. Here's the bottom line. If you're overpriced by about $5,000, you may not get a showing if you're under $200,000. If you don't want your wife to beat you, don't do it. Moving on, we got months of inventory. Again, anything below six months is phenomenal. Notice here we're at about 4.7 months of inventory. Um, and if you want to really go back, take this little dip out, but really to where the last time we saw this, this low of an inventory was 2007. Uh, sales is a percentage of active listings. This to me is a leading indicator as well. If I run this, about 15% would be normal. So if I had 100 homes, I would uh, move 15 through. So for me, if I have 100 donuts in front of me, I would still eat 100 donuts. So it really doesn't apply to anything. If we're looking at this right now, 15% is normal. We're up about 21% is what's being sold. Um, active listings, now this is what I was telling you. We haven't seen this in 10 years. In fact, this goes off my slide. Um, you have to go pr prior 2002 to find the number of listings where they are right now. And again, people, what that tells me is we don't have enough supply to keep up with the demand. Moving here, number of sales on a 12-month on a, on a running average. I believe we're putting about 750 sales a month through the MLS. Uh, by the way, this July, we hit over 900. I believe it was 978. I had to go back to 2007 to find a single month where we pushed that many units through. Or I ate that many hammers in one shot. Um, uh, sales price on a 12-month median, and looking at here, I believe we're up to about 195,000. And if you want to know what the monthly was, it was about 211,000 for the for the month of October. On a running average, again, it's about 195 and change. Sit on the the running average on on the average price is about 224,000 for the month of October. We hit about 239,000 and change. So again, if you look here, we've been coming up nicely out of our slump. Here's something, I, if you were a dead horse, I'd beat you right now, okay? Um, interest rates are phenomenal. you got to take advantage of this. Um, we're below 3.5 on 30-year fix, somewhere in the high twos, sometimes on 15-year fix. you got to take advantage of this. One thing that I want to say is there, we got some change in regulation coming down at the first part of this year through the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and under the Dodd-Frank Act. For you buyers that are out there, borrowing is going to become more complicated. Um, lending standards will likely change due to these. So if you're in a position to buy as a buyer in our local market, I would get into that market. For a seller, especially in the low end, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to move or you're wanting to move up, now is a perfect time to do it. Why interest rates are at historic lows, and especially in the lower end, guys, because simply we're running out of inventory. So for Bill McAfee, I'm one, I'm one, one hamburger shy of being 300. We'll talk to you soon.